Believe it or not, it's crazy that this material was a scientific mistake. That's right. In 1943, in attempts to make a rubber substitute, two people developed silly putty. The two people were General Electric engineer James Wright and Dow Corning chemist Earl Warwick. Simple combination of silicon oil and boric acid. This non-toxic putty bounces when dropped. It will stretch further than regular rubber. It won't go moldy and it has a very high melting point. However, the substance did not have the properties needed to replace rubber. In 1949, it ended up in the store of Ruth Claygatter. And she shared this with a marketer, Pete Hodgen, who gave it the name Silly Putty. Would you say that Silly Putty is a solid or a liquid?